separately let's talk about the important points okay uh, with respect to your interest here okay so let's talk about now and now in this complete notification they have given the detailed uh, notification the detailed number of vacancies as well of course majorly for you know big chunk for electrical okay and uh, the recruitments are in power grid as well pgcil and also ctuil okay which is central transmission utility of india limited which is a subsidiary of uh, the pgcil only okay so for overall if i say there are 435 post the 435 posts are there in total which is a big number okay and if you say electrical 293 okay for pgcil and separately 38 for ctuil okay then there is civil 47 and 6 respectively okay for computer science 31 and 6 okay and for electronics it is 2 less in pgscil but there are some vacancies the ctuil and that is 2 and 12 respectively okay so this is the uh, breakage of the vacancies and even category category wise also they have written so you can have a look into this as well okay so uh, moving forward okay some more important things that you must know about this uh, uh, recruitment right so as as you know you know these psus keep on recruiting every year through gate so recruitment uh, through gate 2023 score was done last year so for this time again only gate 2024 score would be accepted not 23 or not any other previous year purely on the basis of gate 2024 of course with gd and pi as well that i'm going to tell to you okay so yeah the application starts as i mentioned 12th of june it has started from 12th of june 2024 okay and you have to register online it is again complete online based okay at the website of power that is www.powergrid.in okay along with your you know basic details you have to complete the registration and this will close on 4th of july 2024 okay so you have around good enough 20 days of time uh, to think about this and i think if you're if you think you have performed decent in gate 24 and you can get the seat here okay definitely uh, you know uh, you can be targeting uh, the fill the form as early as possible there will be a nominal fee of 500 of course exceptions for SCST PWD okay uh, where they don't have to require to pay any fee otherwise there's a fee of 500 nominal fee of piece 500 to fill up this application form all right date as I already told you 12 June and 4 July now uh, you know any other details like eligibility criteria or the selection process is already mentioned okay in the earlier updates okay it's so like i told you know there was complete uh, detailed advertisement so once you go to it uh, that also i've opened separately so yeah here you come to it so of course uh, the shortlisting is on the base, basis of gate 2024 score but followed by gd and pi and the respective weightages are also mentioned here okay so like uh, 85 percent weightage is for gate 24 it's majorly gate 24 score if you have good gate score that means you're most likely going to get in here okay uh, there is a three percent weightage for gd and there is a 12 percent weightage for the personal interview although there are minimum qualifying marks in personal interview gd there is no qualify qualifying marks okay okay whatever you score three percent of it is considered okay whether it is minimum maximum however you score but in interview whatever you score 12 percent of it is considered suppose the interview weightage is 100 marks so 12 percent and you scored 80 okay out of 100 you scored 80 okay so you know 12 percent of it will be considered in the final mark so 12 percent of 80 you can calculate but okay also there is qualifying percentage in interviews let's say as i told you 100 marks is the interview okay and you secure less than 40 if you're an unreserved category you secure marks in interview less than 40 like 30 35 etc okay then however good your gate 24 marks or gd may be okay you will not be uh, shortlisted okay for this recruitment so there is minimum qualifying marks in interview that is 40 percent and 30 percent for obc non criminal sc st pwd candidates okay okay the, again that is something you must know that interview you have to focus okay and getting you know beyond 40 percent is not a very big deal okay even if your interview goes very decent also now just decent also you get uh, uh, you know decent marks here okay unless and until you spoil it to a big extent okay so of course uh, you know pgcil since it's a maharatna psus you get higher compensation packages here in the you know in the first year in the training cycle you'll start the pay scale of 40000 to 140000 okay during your training period and uh, you know as a stipend the basic pay you get is 40000 along with all the facilities like hra perks idea etc 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 now on successful completion of training okay you will be absorbed as engineer e2 scale okay and like normally uh, the maharatna psu as well the pay scale becomes 50000 to 160000 okay and other than that of course psu okay and that two pgcil don't always look into the basic pay look into two more important factor the several extra perks okay uh, uh, you know which makes almost your saving almost your basic pay is just saving only and also at the same time the job security factor which is 
always a very dominant factor deciding uh, to uh, work into the PSU. Okay, so yes guys, uh, you know, you have all, of course the basic pay, but all DA, you know, all perks analysis, all medical facilities, HRA, okay, medical facility for you and for your dependents. Okay, so you know, a lot of things are there, LTC will be there. Okay, a mobile facility, reimbursement, laptop facility, okay, pens pen leave cash engagement, pension will be there. So, in and all, okay, that's what I told you, whatever basic pay you get is mostly a savings for you and rest, uh, you know, all the other things that you need to live a decent life is mostly born, you know, separately by the government. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's what are the important updates uh, from PGCIL. Uh, so, you know, if you have performed decent, definitely you can fill up uh, the uh, form. 500 is the form fee for unreserved. Otherwise, there is no fee for SCST, PWD and OBC non -cremilier. All right, guys. So, you know, again, I tell you intent of these videos is just to, you know, make you aware about the upcoming frequencies, recruitment and also for the future aspirants to make them motivated that this keeps on happening every year. So, next year also there will be recruitment, PGCIL or HPCL or IOCL. It will keep coming. So, you know, you keep preparing hard. With this Rakesh Shalreja signing off. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.